Welcome to the Introduction to Molecular Biology practical video. The aim of this practical is to measure gene expression in both treated and untreated cell populations by isolating good quality RNA followed by real-time PCR analysis. The cells are received in a lysis buffer and are homogenized by vortexing briefly. The cell lysate is transferred to a spin column, which is centrifuged at maximum speed to bind the RNA. The spin column is washed to remove unwanted cellular material and is then transferred to a new tube to elute the purified RNA. Yeah. Only one microliter of sample is needed to quantify the RNA using the Nanodrop spectrophotometer. To calculate the RNA concentration, absorbance is measured at 260 nanometers. The bioanalyzer is used to determine sample quality by monitoring the RNA as it passes through a microfluidics-based gel electrophoresis chip. The chip is primed by adding gel to the wells. And by applying pressure for 30 seconds. The RNA samples are added to the chip, which is then mixed before being placed in the bioanalyzer. Two large ribosomal RNA peaks indicate good quality intact RNA suitable for further gene expression study by real-time PCR. To generate cDNA for real-time PCR, the RNA is denatured at 70 degrees Celsius with random hexamer primers, followed by incubation at 42 degrees Celsius in the presence of a reverse transcriptase enzyme. After cDNA has been made, a PCR mix containing cyber green and the cDNA is added to a 96-well PCR plate. The plate is placed in the real-time PCR machine and subjected to 40 amplification cycles with fluorescence detected at each cycle. The cycle at which the fluorescence reaches the threshold value determines the amount of starting material and thus the degree to which the gene of interest is activated under the conditions examined.